Jared Winston, 27 years of age, against a 23-year-old Calvin Watkins. We've got a six foot three versus five foot nine, 261 pounds by Jared Winston, and Calvin Watkins did cut to 265. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to start this fight off. Ladies and gentlemen, live on Facebook, good evening and welcome to Franklin Field here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where tonight Anthony Pettis is proud to present APFC Midwest Invitational, sanctioned by the Wisconsin Department of Safety and Professional Services. Program Director Mary Murphy Edwards, Assistant Deputy Commissioner Matt Reynolds. Our judges tonight are Gabriel Sabatis, Larry Strzok, and Scott Jones. Our timekeeper is Mike Rogers, and our ringside physician is Dr. David Ross. And now, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise because it is time to shine with our first bout of the evening, scheduled for three rounds in the APFC Heavyweight Division, sponsored by LimitlessX.com and Third Coast T-shirts. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing orange and black, he stands six feet three inches tall, official weight, 261 pounds. He steps into the cage tonight with three victories, three defeats, Fighting out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, Gerard, my name, Brutus Winston. And across the cage, his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black, he stands five feet, nine inches tall. Official weight, 265 and one half pounds. He steps into the cage tonight with one victory, one defeat from Harvey, Illinois, Calvin, Chunky Bud Watkins. And the referee in charge, Tom DeVellis. We've got Jared Winston in the Bang Muay Thai trunks that are orange and black, and Calvin Watkins in the black trunks with the yellow writing. You'll notice the G2 writing on the side of Watkins. Famed Jim Gilbert grappling, Danny Gilbert himself cornering Calvin. I think this is a great fight to start things off tonight. We got an irresistible force, 200K followers here um, out of Watkins versus the long and big Jared Winston. So let's see how this one fares. Jared Winston is being active with his jabs and kicks. Kevin Watkins just comfortable taking them and fighting on the inside while covering. Watkins taking some shot, but I'm, I'm liking his composure here. He's still oh. four holes. Right. It's going to be a bit of a foul there. Obviously an accident. You see that a lot in MMA when people are going for those those leg kicks in, in the inner thigh. Sometimes they slide up. Yeah, I, I don't think there was any mistaking that, David. I think that was right in the breadbasket. I think he's going to need every bit of that time. Yeah, you know, when you start in a mixed martial art event, you always try to start hot. Yeah, you start with the big boys, the heavyweights. It's either lots of clinching or raw explosion. Um, I think Watkins up until this point has been incredibly just calm and allowing Watkins to get off. I was kind of allowing uh, Winston to get off. I was a little surprised at that, to be honest with you. I'm liking the contrast and the demeanors here. It's going to make a, a really good story, I think, in this fight. Like you said, uh, we have Watkins here, very calm, cool, collected. And we got Winston coming out firing jabs. We saw a nice one-two down the middle through that leg kick. Yeah. Let's just watch this replay in regards to that kick. Oof. And if you could hear that replay at home, it is just as bad as it looks. <laughs> it sounds just as bad. The reason why that happened, he stepped a little shallow and he reached and kicked up. If you don't want to kick the cup, you have to take a bigger step with the leg you're stepping with and kick deeper and longer. So when that when you try and kick with your foot, it'll slide up to the cup. If you take a bigger step, you'll hit with that shin. We're gonna get started again. Hopefully these fighters. Touch gloves. Oh, no, start right away. No touch of gloves. I think the one surprising thing for me, David, is Calvin at times is in like shot distance and he's not he's not going for it. What I would like to see from Watkins, he's a great wrestler, and I feel like he's just kind of waiting and looking for the window to open up for a shot. Sometimes you have to create those windows. Where are the feints, feigning the shots, throwing some combinations and mixing it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, Watkins is very comfortable on the inside. And like I said, he's he's got his here it is. He's going for his first double leg takedown. And this is where he wants to be, just kind of using his weight to staple him against the cage. And we're going to maybe see him transfer from the hip to maybe a leg here and uh, look to get this fight to the ground. Yeah, the, uh, when you talk to the gym members from Rick Gilbert Grappling, they, they say in regards to practice, Watkins is definitely next level. It's just he's got to put it together in the cage. 
And here in this moment is where we can see maybe Watkins' height being an advantage for him. He's lower and more center to the ground, so he's going to be able to kind of isolate his hips and his head pressure a little bit more because he's already there. Right. Winston. Winston going for a Kimura grip here. Throwing all 260 pounds into that Kimura lock. I love the Kimura lock counter against a wrestler because now you thread back with a submission. That kid's wrestled his whole life. You're not going to out-wrestle him. And the thing about being a great wrestler, we're not comfortable on our backs at times unless we really are deep into the sport of MMA and Jiu-Jitsu. So now Watkins is on his back. We're really going to see how much he's really been focusing on his Jiu-Jitsu game off the back. Audible, an audible wins. I can't like it's an attack. Wow, I'm really surprised at that. Gerard Winston just powered through that Kimura. I liked how, how Winston came. He came out firing, but he was very calculated. And, and, and if you look at if you look at Gerard Winston right now, he's not, he's not breathing heavy. Um, he's not breathing heavy at all. He was able to pace himself. I think that's kind of a big part of fighting is you know knowing when to breathe and when to explode. I think there's a, quite a bit of damage to the shoulder. I would say upwards of 80 percent of it is, is the mental game, the mental aspect of keeping your composure and, and knowing when to strike and when you see those windows taking advantage of them. And that's what we saw here from Winston. Yeah, I thought he fought very polished, and I was very impressed with the Kimura counter. I think what uh, Calvin Watkins needs to do with his wrestling pedigree, learn how to set it up better with his strikes, and, and that'll come. hesitation. You know, yeah. you know, if you're going to make a decision, you're going to have to go and do it, rather than getting stuck in the middle. You know, that's when you have your issues. Right now, Gerard Winston is on a three-fight win streak, and we are going to make this one official. Tom DeVellis called the start of the contest at 2 minutes, 11 seconds of round number one for the winner by submission via Kimura, Gerard, my name, Rudo Winston. Go, go see his team. Oh, my bad, sorry. We're going to check out the replay of this finish by Gerard Winston.